How do you follow your dream, even though you feel like it's too late? Asked by Dante King. He also stated that most of the time, people just settle and become miserable. This is a good topic, Dante. I'll give you two answers that I think for this. One generic and one based on circumstances. Because honestly, it all just depends on your life's conditions. So generically, if you have or had a dream that is too late to follow, make sure that this is the case. If your dream is not age-based, meaning you're not too old or too young to be part of it, then this is one good sign that you can keep your dream alive. So most importantly, always try to accomplish your dreams in life. In your question, you asked, how do you follow your dream even though you feel like it's too late? If this is the case and it's just a feeling of being too late, that means you still have a chance for your dream to happen. You just have to go for it. Now for my second answer. To have a dream, I would assume it's attainable, meaning your dream is not something silly like living in the vacuum of space. For any attainable dream, your life's circumstances can limit you in many ways. For instance, many people want to live in America, so they might go there illegally. This dream can be achieved, but can also be short-lived if done illegally. Due to circumstances, this may have been the only way for a family to obtain their dream and live in America. So if coming to America is a better life than home, but can only be done through illegal means, would it be better to stay where you were instead of going for your dream? As you said, Dante, most of the time people just settle and become miserable. In this circumstance, it's hard to say because people in this situation can become miserable after obtaining their dream. Another circumstance slash example could be the need of more money. Let's say your dream is to have an amazing job. To even be in the running for jobs nowadays, you need to have a degree. If you do not have money, you will not be able to go to college unless you have amazing grades in high school and they pay for you. For now though, let's just say you're an average student, so pretty much you need scholarships, sponsors, etc. to get to the next level. Since you did not get any of these things, you decide to work a normal job that only requires a high school diploma. 10 or 20 years pass, and you've survived. Should you go back to school for your dream job? If it's something you really want to do, and it's your dream to have, go for it. Honestly, Dante. When it comes to circumstances, I can give you many examples, but I feel it would be better to give you a solid solution. The biggest issues with dreams is that people may not achieve them. This leads to them being depressed. So I say, instead of living and choosing a negative mindset toward a failed dream, choose to be positive about it in every way. If you could not achieve your dream, but at least try to, then that's something to be positive about. If your life is happy or good enough, but you did not achieve your dream, why allow that to make you sad? Lastly, contemplate on your dream. Sometimes it's better for a dream to stay a dream because of the journey and adventure that life will take you through to achieve it. Personally, one of my dreams in life was to understand everything that I could about the world. God has allowed me to partly do this through my past success on YouTube. I saw that money and fame are dead ends in life that only give you a temporary adrenaline boost. Also, when one accomplishes their dream, it can leave them wanting more. However, by learning from circumstances, you will be able to move on and do better things in life. Ultimately, bud, always try to achieve your dreams. If it's not too late to obtain it, go for it. Just make sure it's a realistic dream that you can achieve and will not affect your life in a negative way. Be wise about what your dream is and know the good and bad that comes from it. If you live your life and do not reach it, do not choose to be miserable and sad. Choose to live on by being grateful for what you have in life as best you can. These are my two short answers for this topic and I hope it helped you out, bud.
Peace.